Hello and welcome back to another episode of Engineer Likes Farming. Today I'm going to pull the pan of this tractor of this Perkins 4.248 and the reason why I do that is because uh, when I tear the uh, front cover down I ruined some uh, some pieces of the of the pan gasket so I have to replace the complete one this this means that I have to pull the pan and put a new one on second thing is uh, due to the fact that some parts were broken of this engine I think that I will find the broke out parts of the gears in the oil pan so that's my theory okay I'm going to to put out all these bolts put the jack underneath and leave the, the pan down okay pan has been pulled and that is when you forget to cover your engine water will get into that was my fault yes very stupid but it is like that and as we can see there are the fragments of the camshaft gear quite a lot nice okay we'll pull the stuff out of here and clean it all up and then I will put the sump back in put it put it put in fresh oil and then I will I will yes I will um, crank the engine and I will let the remaining contaminated oil run out here and at the cylinder head where the rocker shaft assembly is lubricated and will the oil the contaminated oil let it out there so that I have got most of the shit, shitty oil out of my repaired engine. But either way, I have to change the the, the oil in a um, short short time to get rid of all the water, which is still inside of this engine but I think it will go it will do it fine so oil pan is clean nice and clean washed it all out and cleaned it with a rag everything's like it's supposed to be Okay, now the parts which were I have found are these, put them on a magnet, do not lose them. Some of those parts are definitely from the gears, but I think there has to be 
some cracked parts from somewhere else because why should the, f the damn gear just breaks I will investigate that separately now let's have a look down here Looks all well, not so bad. Had to put this gasket back down, put the new one on, and here you can see the missing part of the gasket. Yeah, and then I guess I'm ready to. And here you could see. These parts are new, new pistons, and new bushings into the connecting rods. This I did last year, but that was not the reason why this camshaft breaks down. We will have a look. Okay. Well, now get down this gasket, put the new one on, and put the oil sump back to the engine. Okay. Got the new gasket on the pan, and the gasket, the old gasket, is off the engine block. So I'm going to put the pan now on my jack onto this piece of wood, and I will slide it back up to the engine. So um, there's a, a little hint for you guys. We're taking the pan off of the tractor. Um, there are two studs at the back of the oil pan, and I know if you see that, now you see that, uh, to position the, the oil pan right under the engine block. And I did, did that on the front side as well, put in the long, the long bolts, which are supposed to be right here in this, in this hole. And with, with these, uh, on the other side I got it also such a bolt inside, with these two bolts uh, you can pull up the, uh, push up the, um, the oil pump very easy as you can see. This works great. So the oil pan is back on the tractor. Um, I bolted on the bolts and I put also on some on, on all of the bolts some Loctite glue everything went fine new gasket is on and the broken parts are out of the oil pan that's what I want to do now I will put in fresh engine oil and fresh engine oil and uh, get get rid of the the rest of the water which is inside of the of the engine but this will be the next clip so new engine oil is in the engine um, I put here beneath the the flange of the 
um, oil filter uh, the flange of the oil filter and I got here from the pressure sensor unit a T fitting which allows me to to get this oil down into the into the pipe and then I got here I put out the rocker shaft assembly put out from the oil feed hole down here a, a little hose and put it down to this this PCB hose so this oil will end up here in in this container okay let's start again. Mmm, nice. Okay. I think that should, should do fine on the oil filter. Okay, put back a new oil filter. So, this filter is full of oil. This looks good. How much oil has been lost? Okay, so almost minimum. Top this off. And then I will put back the um, the Rock shaft assembly, and I will put on this T fitting a pressure gauge. I got a pressure gauge for measuring the oil pressure, and I will break the engine in by measuring the oil pressure there. So I got now connected my oil pressure gauge down here which measures in bar and psi. Bar is the red scale. And I already have cranked the engine to prove if all the valve lubrication holes are uh, leaking the right amount of oil and they do so and we got now maximum at the dip dipstick and now I'll show you the oil pressure of this engine. It's about 3 bar at cranking speed. Yes. This, is, this sounds good. Almost, oil is almost clean but there is some debris of water inside. I have to change this in a short period. Okay, 
that's for this video. Next video will cover the compression test of all four cylinders. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.